Hey, what's up guys? I'm Tiger with Tiger Comedia back with another Dokkan battle video. So recently a lot of people have been asking me when I think certain banners that already got their release on JP such as the Namek Goku or the Trunks and Zamasu or Kale and Khalifla and so on and so forth will be coming to global. And to those questions I've always said man, I don't know, like <laughs> that's just my honest answer. I don't work for Bandai so I can't give you guys a definitive answer for when these banners are coming but what I can say is that they're definitely on their way and at this point so many people have been asking me this question that I decided to make this video today kind of predicting when I think uh, each of these banners are going to be released or what the basically uh, banner release schedule will look like over the next three to four or five months on global. And once again, before we get started, I just want to be absolutely clear, guys. I don't know anything for sure, all right? So I could be completely, completely off. This is just my personal opinion and what I think makes the most sense as far as releases go for global. So if you guys are cool with that, then keep watching and let's jump in. So. The first thing that we know for sure that's coming next on Global is going to be part two of the 300 million download celebration and of course that's going to bring with it a new banner with possibly or very likely a new LR so that would be the next major banner on actually both Global and JP and at this point we don't really know what that unit's going to be but a lot of people the popular theory at the moment is that it's going to be an LR instant transmission Goku and that's just based off the fact that there are a lot of unused Goku cards in the game such as this one right here. This specific Goku a lot of people think it's going to be the art for the SSR form basically when you first pull him that's what the uh, instant transmission Goku is going to look like so that's what people think it's going to be. Once again I don't know for sure but it does make a lot of sense it would go with the theme of the celebration right so potentially LR Instant Transmission Goku coming for part two of the 300 million download celebration. It could be something else too, just be, just to be clear, but uh, that's what people think it's gonna be. So that would be the um, immediate like next banner on global, right? And then after that, what I think they're gonna drop on us is a legendary summon banner. And I think it's time for the Kale and Khalifla. Um, and the main reason I think this is because number one, People want it, right? People really, really want this banner, but also because um, it's a little bit less of a big deal, I guess, uh, overall than a new Dokkan Fest. And I think at this point, because we had almost two, I mean, not quite back to back, but we had the four year anniversary with the LR Super Saiyan 4s, and then we had a mini celebration in between, and then we had the 300 million download celebration with another major dual Dokkan Fest, I think. Bandai will want to give Global a bit of a cool down, you'll let our let our wallets take a break. I mean, not quite because Kale and Khalifa is still very, very hype, right? But um, you know what I mean, like Dokkan Fest usually are a bigger deal, they're bigger celebrations. So I think that Kale and Khalifa should or would make a lot of sense here. And uh, just chronologically based on the release schedule on JP, it would also make sense for Global to finally get Kale and Khalifa right after the uh, 300 million download celebration. So, so that's what I think it's gonna be. I could be wrong, but uh, that'd be awesome. I do really want these guys too. And I'll uh, give you guys a quick peek at the banner here. There's the Kale and Khalifla. There's a new Kale and a new Khalifla. And there's some other waifu cards and Universe 6 stuff, uh, or just Universe like Survival Saga themed banner, I guess. So that's the banner right there. And then next up, I believe, after the Kale and Khalifla banner, We'll be getting the Namek Transforming Goku. And uh, this guy, of course, leads one of the most OP categories in the game, the uh, Super Saiyan category. And this was his banner. I'm not sure if it's going to stay this way, mainly because we just got the Transforming Goku and Transforming Frieza um, on the 300 million Dual Dokkan Fest banner. So those could change. I mean, that's wishful thinking. Like, I really want them to change it, but I guess there's always a chance that it could stay this way. And. It would kind of suck for a lot of people because I'm I'm guessing many of you pulled multiple copies of this guy, multiple copies of this guy going for the LR Cell and the LR Gohan. So uh, it'd be nice if they changed it up, but I'm not gonna really, <laughs> I'm not gonna necessarily uh, get my hopes up too high because Bandai has been known to feature the same units multiple times in a short period of time, right? So that's a Namek Goku. So I think it's gonna be 
um, you know, the LR banner for the second part of the celebration, and then LR killing Khalifla, and then transforming Goku. And then after this, like, cooldown of, like, you know, a month, month and a half. Oh, by the way, so uh, <laughs> let's go back a little bit, actually. I forgot to mention the actual timeline. So uh, it says here that the second part of the celebration will start on uh, September 12th. Thursday, September 12th, so the banner will probably come out either that day or like within one to two days after that, right? So that should take us until the end of September, beginning of October, and then that's when Kaelin Khalifa will come out, and that's going to be a mini celebration of maybe like two, three weeks or so, and then at the end of October, or middle to end of October, we should be getting this celebration with the uh, dynamic transforming Goku, and this is obviously based on just my prediction i'm not saying it's actually gonna happen right and then after that after this cooldown sometime in uh november beginning of november you know first second week of november we should finally get the trunks and zamasu dual tokan fest and uh these two units are really really good but there's one thing to note which is um the 300 million downloads Dual Dokkan Fest really has devalued this specific Dual Dokkan Fest mainly because of the uh, Gogeta and Broly. Oh, Gogeta and Broly being featured on the LR Gohan and LR Cell banners, which in my opinion makes these banners now a lot less uh, exciting, a lot less uh, of a big deal at least than they used to be. Or in the minds of global players at least. I mean, that that's just my opinion, right? Because uh, in the past, this was super, super hype, super, super exciting because it had the first return of Broly and Gogeta. But now that Broly and Gogeta have, have already come back with the Gohan and Cell banners, man, um, these banners don't look nearly as nice as they used to. And as you can see, man, aside from the, the new Trunks and the new Gogeta, or, you know, movie Gogeta, uh, the rest of the banner really isn't that crazy. I mean, he, he's still awesome, but he's been featured uh, quite a few times now. Um, people are still not super high on him, and he is completely, like, like this guy is completely replaced um, by by this guy right here. And uh, SSB has been featured quite a few times as well. See, like, overall, like, these banner, these units are good, but it's just not, like, that crazy exciting. Um, and same thing with the... Uh, Zamasu banner, even though the Zamasu banner I think is better, but like these two guys, the Int Goku Black and the STR Goku Black have both been featured on the Cell banner now, so uh, this is also a devalued banner thanks to the LR Cell banner, right? So uh, I do think these guys are coming sometime in November, like around the beginning to middle, but um, I don't know if like how many people are still super, super hyped for it. They are very good units though. The Zamasu and Trunks alone are worth the summon. But uh, overall, value-wise, I think it's a bit lower than it used to be. And then after that, um, sometime probably end of, of November or beginning of September. Uh, it's not September. I'm getting my months all mixed up. End of November, of November or beginning of December, we should be getting. I mean, end of November actually. Uh, we should be getting this full power LR uh, Frieza banner. And this is going to be a little like a bit of a filler, I think, cooldown celebration. I, I feel like uh, generally, I mean, I, I would have to go back and like, you know, look a little bit more closely, I guess, at the trends um, of banner releases. But I think after Dual Dual Confess or like major celebrations uh, like Dual Dual Confess, the uh, Bandai wants to give the game a bit of a cooldown, right? Give the community, give people's wallets a bit of a break. Generally speaking, so I think this uh, legendary summon banner with the full power Frieza LR, which not a lot of people are like super high on. He's he's cool though. He like obviously I do want him, but um, I think this one like the release time makes a lot of sense here because he would be considered a bit of like a cool down celebration or part of like a smaller celebration. And then after that, we should be getting the thank you celebration. Maybe the LR banner actually would be part of that. Who knows? I don't know how they're going to structure it, but uh, somewhere in between there, somewhere around this time, like beginning of December, middle of December, we should be getting the, uh, uh, the thank you celebration, which is the same thing as uh, JP's Tanabata celebration. And last year was when we got our last thank you celebration. So I do expect December once again for this year's. And uh, we should see the return of the LR Super Saiyan 4 Goku and LR Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta. Um, I don't know what the other unit in there is going to be. I, 
maybe it's Gohan and Goten. Who knows? Like that, that'd be cool. I think that'd be great um, since they haven't come back yet. But it could also be some other unit. I'm not thinking of. I can't. I'm not really sure. But uh, we will be getting the thank you celebration once again, or very likely considering we got it last year. And then we have Christmas. And as far as Christmas goes, man, I don't really know what to expect. Uh, it could be Piccolo. It could definitely be Piccolo, but I don't know if he's like hype enough <laughs> to be uh, a, a Christmas celebration. But then if you think about last year's Christmas celebration for, for Global, it was a complete, uh, it was a disaster, man. So, I mean, just going off that trend, maybe we'll get Piccolo. I mean, he's, he's good, man. Like, he's great. Like, his banner was very solid and everything. Um, it's just, I think people generally want something bigger uh, for Christmas, so maybe um, they'll give us something around this time that JP is, you know, still hasn't come out on JP yet, but will come out between now and Christmas on Global, and they'll give it to us early. Um, I don't know what to predict at this point because that's that's completely up in the air, right? Like, nobody knows what's coming up on JP in the couple next couple months. Um, so maybe we'll get something early, maybe they'll give us a Global exclusive for that time, like Hit, but um just an overall better celebration than hit was that's for sure so that that'd be nice uh, it'd be nice to get something new for christmas and then maybe after christmas in the new year um like beginning middle of january we'll get piccolo and that's pretty much the timeline that i predict guys uh i think it's gonna be pretty much um lr whatever the lr is for the second part of the 300 million down celebration first and then LR killing Khalifla, and then Anamic transforming Goku, and then Trunks and Zamasu, and then LR full power Frieza, um, and then the thank you celebration, and then the Christmas banner, whether it be Piccolo or something else, and then if not Piccolo, then Piccolo. I think that's I think that's the order that <laughs> I presented these in. So uh, yeah, there you go, guys. That's my prediction. That hopefully answers your question. For everybody asking um or i mean not exactly but at least my opinion if, if you guys are asking me then that's my opinion about what's going to happen and uh let me know in the comments down below guys whether or not you agree with this order with this prediction or maybe not maybe you have a different opinion then let me know as well and uh we can have a quick little discussion down there and just share opinions about what's going on because nobody really knows for sure man i don't even think like why or Dokener or those guys know right now until we get a little bit closer to the banner releases, right? So um, Yeah, it's completely open. Let me know your opinions in the comments and that's pretty much gonna do it for today's video guys Hope you enjoyed the video if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to like the damn video And if it's your first time watching me first time to the channel and you like what you see Then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it Hit that notification bell too so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's all I got to say, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video very, very soon. Until then, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.